Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I bought a bunch of shit. I'm gonna show you what it is. So throughout the month of February, I managed to buy a bunch of manga from two stores. Um, one of them was Barnes and Noble, which I don't recommend buying your manga at all from Barnes and Nobles ever. Don't do it, it's bad as fuck. But I had a gift card, so I was like, I gotta use it kind of thing. And the other website that I, um, I'm talking really fucking fast, but you know, it's okay. And the other website that I used was Right Stuff Anime. If you haven't heard of Right Stuff Anime, they're basically a website where you could buy anything anime manga slash anime manga related things like figures, body pillows, blow up sex dolls. I don't fucking know. But yeah, so I bought a bunch of stuff from within those two websites and um, I'm just gonna hop right into it. So the first book I'm gonna start out with is So Cute It Hurts Volume 5. And this series is like a guilty pleasure of mine. It is about um, these two twins, they switch places um, at... They switch places and they go to school and then crazy shit happens. I'm really bad at explaining like stories like... I don't know, I have a very hard time like recommending things to people because I'll be like, this is really good. And they'll be like, what is it about? And I'm like, I don't know. Just read it. Like, why are you making this so complicated? It's a romance comedy. If you like romance comedy, read it. I don't know what else to tell you. The next book that I got from Barnes and Noble was Nana volume one. And Nana is my favorite anime series pretty much of all time with Code Geass being second because you know Lelouch, Lelouch ultimate husband though. <laughs> Love him. I recommend reading Nana or watching Nana or just consuming Nana in some way, shape or form, whichever is your preferred way of watching. If you like live act, if you like movies with real people, there's two versions of the live action. So there's something for everyone. Nana, it's super amazing, super awesome. I got volume one because I never read the manga and like the anime cuts off and then they didn't do a second season because they were waiting for the manga to finish. And then the manga isn't going to get finished because the, um, the author, she has some sort of like illness or something and can no longer write. And it's just, it became a shit show. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to read it. I ended up buying volume one at Barnes and Nobles and then going ahead and buying volume two, uh, volume three. Oh, my hands on the, gee, Sophia, get your shit together. Ah, uh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so dysfunctional today. And volume four. So I've read volumes one through three. I'm about to go read four after this video because I just, it's about these two girls named Nana. They're roommates. One's in a band. One has lots of boyfriends. Again, the worst synopsis of a show ever. Anyways, enough of Nana. The next two books I got um, are Attack on Titan, No Regrets, Volumes 1 and 2. Now, here are the bags. They're like the same, but like different color. I expected this to be amazing because I fucking love Levi. And honestly, it was okay. It was all right. I don't know. It was... Now, these next two books are a godsend. <laughs> I've been looking for a new series to get into, a new series to read, just something new, something refreshing, okay? And this is my something new, something refreshing. Ajin, holy fucking shit. I binge read these two books last night and holy shit, it's like insane. Okay, so here's the first volume and here is the second volume. And if you like like deep shit, you're okay with gore and you're looking for something with like a dark vibe, Read this shit because it's so good. I was screaming like, what do you mean? Like, and the quality of these books like is so good. You got these like crazy ass like colored pages. Like, mm, there's quite a few of them too. You know, obviously not the whole thing's in color, but you got some great colored pages. The 
character designs are so like, I don't know, I thoroughly enjoy them. I'll show you my, my he's my favorite character so far. Even though, even though, read it, please. <laughs> I beg you, I need to talk to somebody about this because nobody reads it. Like, no one I know reads it, so just read it. It's good shit. Um, I'm pretty sure you can read it um, on Crunchyroll if you don't want to buy it, but you should buy it because it's fucking sick. There's an anime that uh, came out this season for uh, Aji, and I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. If you've seen it and you think it lives up to the glory that is the manga, then let me know. So for the next three, the next three are things that were kind of more of just a leap of faith. They were each, I'm pretty sure each book was like $4. So it's not like I spent a bunch of money on them. And I just wanted to get something, something new, something refreshing. So I picked up these three. Um, first, I'm going to start off with this Yaoi novel I got called Passion Forbidden Lovers. I haven't read it yet. Um, but I wanted a book that was like an actual like book So I picked up this one. I figured, you know, gay boys will keep me entertained for a while You know, so I'm gonna read it. Um, it's basically a high school teacher romance Next book Devil's Bride. This book is the most fucked up shit I have ever read. It's so fucked. I'm like you did not just do that. <laughs> this did not just happen. It covers the topics of every topic. There's like rape, um, death. Uh, I can't remember. There's like human trafficking. There's like demons. There's physical disabilities. There's like military, like corruption, like, they managed to cover everything in this book. And it's just, you like look at the cover and you think it's gonna be, like I thought it was gonna be some like sexy, steamy yaoi. And it turned out to be this fucked up book. Like, like if you were looking for a cute like boy love story, this is not, this is not what you wanna read. Honestly, there's like, not even a, it's not even a, it's like, oh my God, they like, rape the child oh my god i recommend it if you want to see something really 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 fucked up like if you just want to like be disgusted then read this the blind kid are you kidding me he is like the cutest kid and what happens to him is so fucked i'm pretty sure there's only one volume out because it's by Tokyo Pop and then Tokyo Pop ran out of business so the second volume never came out so I'm probably gonna end up reading the second book online but yeah that's Devil's Bride expected it to be sexy steamy yaoi it turned out to be the most fucked up thing I ever read speaking of the most fucked up thing I've ever read this is the worst thing I've ever read it's called In the End by Pink Psycho and I went into this knowing it was gonna be fucking awful, but it turned out to be even worse than I thought. Honestly, like it just, oh, bless whoever wrote this book. This book is the reason Tokyo Pop went out of business because it's so fucking bad. I recommend everyone read it, it's that bad. This is like prime source material of what you don't wanna do when you're writing a story. Don't do this, holy shit. In the end, read it for comedic purposes, ended up laughing. I ended up laughing. I, it was just horrible. So that is all the stuff I picked up for February. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this every month cause I don't think I'm gonna have the money to buy shit every month, but we'll see. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Be sure to like, subscribe, eat ass, die hard, comment. I don't know if I already said subscribe, but subscribe. Um, I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays now. 
So, you know, you're getting double that con- that's four. You're getting double that content. Bitchin'. Alright. Deuces. <laughs> what even are my outros? What even are they? <laughs> Bye.